Hi everyone, can you guys hear me? Hello, 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 hello. Can you guys hear me? Just checking if uh, if Mario is ready. Or oh, um, obviously Prince. Just waiting. How that you guys are doing? Okay, in this time, um, I'm at home, chilling, working out, reading, cooking. Um, that's it. Normal stuff. Just checking if they're here. Doot, doot, doot. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. No, nobody. Oh, just have a beard. <laughs> you guys are funny. <laughs> you guys are funny. What are you guys doing? Chilling at home like everyone, respecting the rules. Let me see if they're ready. Ah. No. <laughs> now we're talking. How are you? I'm good. And yourself? I'm good. I'm good. Oh, yeah. by the way, I just wanted to let you know. You know, you know, I'm still leading. Sorry? You know, I'm still winning. Winning for what? Remember well, Barcelona. The nutmeg competition. No, but uh, that no, wasn't. I, I, that, no, 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 no. Am I winning or not? You're winning, but that's not fair. Ah, uh, thank you. That, no, wasn't, that wasn't fair. That wasn't fair. Ah, uh, nothing is fair when you get nutmeg. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, anyway, fair. that wasn't fair at all. I swear. No, nah, hey, it is, it is what it is. Hey, how are you? I'm good. I'm good. Now, now I remember this. Oh. I ah, now nutmeg. you remember. I didn't get nutmeg for me, many people, you know. And that, ah. was, that one, that one, oof. I, I, still, <laughs> I, I still feel the pain, I swear. <laughs> now, hey, listen, let's talk about the real, the real stuff. How are you? How are you? How am I? Yeah, yeah, how are you? No, I'm good, I'm good. You know, I'm training. Uh, I stay home, of course. And uh, to be honest, it's not easy, but... Yeah. Is what it is. I hope it's gonna end soon. Because you guys, you guys was one of the first country in Europe to have it really bad. How is it? How is it in Italy now? Uh, now it's getting. It, it looks like it's getting a little bit better, but still, uh, you know, they said that at the end of the month probably we can start to go out, but. I, I doubt that, to be honest. Because, no? Uh, I doubt that. I don't know. I doubt that. Because, obviously, if people start going out, it's going to be more contagious. Because we we don't know who has yeah. it, who doesn't have it. You know? And I don't know. It looks... It looks. I don't know. It, it looks like there is not an end. That's the problem. And especially, no, if you know, listen. maybe you have a friend, and the friend has it, he doesn't know. And yeah. It, and it's a problem. It's not an easy one. It, it will obviously uh, go, but we need to respect the rules and make, make sure that we're all safe. And obviously, being being around each other is not easy because some people might have it and they don't know that they have it. They don't have the sync, you know. So it's not uh, it's not an easy one. But it is what it is. We have to stay at home. Do you cook? <laughs> <laughs> So that's a no. Uh, nah, I can cook basic stuff, but not even good. <laughs> but why, why, why don't you um, why don't you take this time to learn how to cook? Maybe I know I know you 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 kind of uh, uh, have uh, 
or speak a lot of languages, but do you do you like want to learn a new language, learn how to cook, or something else? How do you occupy your time? Well, uh, to learn learn how to cook. To be honest, cooking is not my stuff. Like it's not. I don't I don't like it to be honest and and uh, it's not something you don't that, like it nah nah nah, nah. I don't like but it you like to eat I eat a lot of pasta and, yeah uh, I love meat uh, then I have some African dishes that I like like uh, jollof Ooh, jollof, jollof rice, rice. Oof, that's the best and uh, of course, I eat. I, I I can eat vegetables, not a lot, but I eat vegetables, fish. But the best is for me is African, like jollof rice and pasta. I love. Pasta. Do you do you, uh, do you like fufu? Yeah, I like fufu, but fufu you can eat once every three weeks because it's heavier. Oh, I know that. Do you hear me well? Now, yes. Because some people are complaining. I, sorry, guys, I can't deal with technology. I can't control that. But I hear you well. Do you hear me well? Yeah, now, yes. Oh, okay, sorry about that, guys. I, don't, I cannot control that. That's something that I cannot control. Listen, I wanted to ask you something. Obviously, you played in a lot of leagues. What is the best one that you played in? The best team? No, the league, the league. Oh, the best league oh, in England, for sure. Yeah? Yeah. England is the best. It's the best league for, league for sure, 100%. Why is that for you? Because the football is amazing. Um, the fans are amazing. The way they, they speak about football is amazing. So you go home, you can walk in the street. Of course, yeah, there are, you know, paparazzi and stuff, journalists, but it's more, for the people, it's more, I don't know, the way they say hi and they leave is not like crazy, you know? And for a footballer, I think England is the best place. Then, of course, I had problems for the food, <laughs> for the <laughs> weather, for the driving. <laughs> I had a lot of problems for that, but then the football is amazing, to be honest, for a footballer. Living in England is the best, I think. Well, I, I will, England, I will love you know to. Better than me. <laughs> but yeah, no, listen. Every every single league have their own way, their own charm, their own. But I say, if you combine everything, the Premier League is the best. If you combine everything that you need, the Premier League is the best. Yeah. No, me, you know, the Premier League, I was good. Like. Premier League was amazing for me. In the Premier, I have only good memories. If I ask, if I ask you one thing, another thing, not so much who was your best coach, but who was the coach that made made you progress the most, that you improved the most under. I can say two coach they improved me a lot, and one is Mancini, of course, because it took me when I was young and, and crazy <laughs> and, uh, and uh, <laughs> the other one that improved me a lot was uh favre lucian favre oh that really is in, in dortmund in nice. yeah, no, no, no. improved me a lot when you guys were in nice huh? yeah he was very good on this how like, did you how did, how did you like the french league the french league is good it's very good is better than what people think and it's more difficult than what people think. Because, you know, when I came back to Italy, everybody said, yeah, you scored, but it was France. And I was like, listen, France is not easy. I'm telling it's you. It's physical, you know, huh? Oh, my God. You know, normally I'm the bigger, one of the biggest in the pitch, but in France... Not in I was, France. I was so normal, huh? <laughs> not in France. No, you can't. It's, it's, it's a tough league. It's, it's, people think about... Defending a lot, not conceding goals, like they're very pragmatic. Yeah. yeah when you so go to play, yeah, when, you, when you play teams like Strasbourg, Caen, team like that, when you go uh, to play in their stadium, whoo, my friend. No, it is not easy. <laughs> difficult. It's very difficult. Tell me, tell me the story about about Brescia. Why? I mean, I kind of know, but you always wanted to go back, right? 
No, I was like, you know, um, uh, I, I, I was thinking to to f do one year, two years, three years. I don't know. I, I signed the contract, but then I was sure I wanted to do at least one year um, back home and stay home, uh, stay close to my mom, stay close to my friends uh, in my city where I, where I raised, and that was the idea. And then it's my city, of course. I, I'm proud to play here, but obviously then for how the season went, it wasn't easy, but that was the decision why I went there. I wanted to stay home for a while. They said it's never easy to go back home. No. You know, never easy. You know, you have your friend, expectation. Exactly. People want so, so much from you. It's never easy. Never easy. No. It's not easy at all. It's not easy at all. If I, if I ask you another one, what, what's the biggest thing you think that you change in your game? Oh, you also was, you said you were crazy before, so you're not crazy anymore. Nah, I was crazy. I always say I was crazy, but that, was, that wasn't even crazy. I was young, you know, everybody when he's like 16, 17, they like to do things that people of 16 and 17 does, you know. Obviously, you're not men completely. You are, you are a boy. So, uh, you know, there, in football, there are a lot of expectations, a lot of uh, rules, a lot of respect and i always been respectful but i was always you know you know you go out uh, uh they talk about you with girls and uh, vacation you go there you go in the club and i was doing all the things that all the people that when they are 17 18 they do you know but when you are a footballer people have expectation from you and you have to grow faster that's the only thing that happened and all the eyes were on me So I always been, I always been. Um, so the people always say, oh, Mario is doing this, Mario is doing that." But at the end, it was I think things that everybody at my age was doing. Mm -hmm. But obviously, the expectation on me was different because I was playing football. So you know, when you are young, the before when you you have to understand quick that you can't do things that other people do. Yeah, I know, I know. And so that was the only difference, I think. What about in the game? What did you change? What do you think you improved the most? Uh, I think tactically I improved. I always, been, I always been so bad in tactics. <laughs> What do you mean? <laughs> I always been so bad, seriously, in tactics. And uh, I, I, I'm still improving, and I think I've improved a lot on this. But really, I, 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 it wasn't my thing, that I, seriously, I couldn't understand. No, I, so basic what you're trying to say basic, basic stuff is that you, you, what you're trying to say is you were playing just off instinct, right? You were not seeing a other stuff around. Yes, a lot. Now you're playing with, oh, that guy moved there away. That guy, can he give me the ball? Maybe not. Let me wait a bit. So you're a bit more patient to see the game a bit more. I learned, I learned better to like choose the position, to yeah. see the space. Before I was only instinct, you know, and uh, I wasn't really thinking about But that it. Comes, that comes with time. It's, it's the same as me at the very beginning. I remember I wanted to do everything everything so quick in the game and i used to look at the clock and i'm like it's only 12 minutes i'm already tired <laughs> and then you learn you play you go to the right ball at the right time you know the right movement you know exactly where you start to see the space it's different it's not that's that's a normal that's a normal thing best player that you played with best player that you played with wow I, ah, you played with a lot. I cannot say one because I played with a lot of best players. Like, I can't say one, to be honest. So tell me the one that uh, surprised you the most or shocked you the most. Maybe the way he was training, maybe the way he was playing. Maybe it wasn't the best that surprised you the most. I can't say Tevez. Tevez surprised me a lot. The, really? Why? His work ethic? The way the, he used to run? The way, the way he was working, the way he was pressing. <laughs> uh, he was like a, a, a striker but defender. He was unbelievable. 
But you know the rule, we are, we, we, when I say we, I'm not anymore, but we or uh, you are the first defender. Yeah, that's true. But the way he was doing things, I never see any striker doing like this. He could press an entire defense by himself. So, listen, when I, when I see you, because I would like to ask you, I always want to ask you that question, actually, and I never had the time to do it. Do you... Me, do I want to ask you a question. Me, I want to ask you Do you feel pressure? Because it looks like you don't care. It looks like you don't care. I understand you well. I'm not saying you don't care. I said it looks like you don't care. And so many times I watch you play and I'm like, does he feel pressure? Does it look like you don't? So... And, and you know, and I know too, that you, you, you do have pressure, but it seems like at times you cope with it well. And sometimes, maybe not. <laughs> no, okay, of course I feel the pressure. Like, uh, you know, the moments when you are in, on the coach to go in the stadium, when you go in the tunnel, you know, of course you think about the match, you have like... Uh, I, I can't call it pressure, but, you know, you feel emotional, you know, and that's normal. And I think it's the best feeling you can have. But, you know, before an important match, like when we have an important match, I, I, maybe in the day I try not to think about it, you know. I try to think about other things. I talk on the phone with my mom, with my brother, with my friends. I play PlayStation. I don't really think about the match. And uh, for me, the way that's my way. The less I think about the match, the better it is. And I, I start to connect my brain on the match, on the warm-up, in the warm-up. Just there? Yeah, just there. Like, you know, I try to stay by myself in the dressing room because I know that some players, they start concentrating in the dressing room, you know? And maybe me, I listen music, I, I, I speak, I, and can be that maybe I can annoy someone. So I try to stay by myself because that's my way and probably somebody else have a different way, you know, and I respect it. So I always try to stay by myself in the dressing room before the match because I don't focus on the match, you know. I used to be the same in all fairness. I used to uh, be able to sometimes dance, laugh, joke in a dressing room. My thing was when the ref blew the whistle. When the ref blew the whistle, it's on. Wow. And there are some players that if they do this, they're going to play very bad. Yeah, but everybody, everyone has their own way of, uh, of getting ready to prepare yourself. That's the beauty of it. Yeah. What did you want to ask me? No, I wanted to ask you, what was you thinking when you scored against Real Madrid? What was you thinking? Why did you go by yourself alone against the defense of Real Madrid? Every other striker would pass the ball. That was... <laughs> That was crazy, seriously. <laughs> I was watching. I was watching the game, and and uh, when you had the ball, I used to. I used, when you was playing, I loved the way you was playing, and uh, but that Thank time you. I remember I have this flash that I was like, pass the ball, pass the ball, because I, in my head you play against Real Madrid, you don't want to go by yourself, you know, and then you go one, two, bam, bam, goal. I was like, wow. Okay, so I, I I'll give you a little story. So I, I had a coach uh, called, he's still, his name is Joaquin Francisco Philly. When I was in Claire Foucault. And I remember when I was young, very young, I never used to give the ball to anybody. I just wanted to go and score goals alone. And so one day, he gave me a ball, put me on the other side, other side of the field, and he put the rest of the whole squad on the other side. And he said, since you don't like to pass the ball, now try to pass the ball. So I did it once, and I couldn't. And then he made me do it twice, three times, four times, five times, six times, seven times, eight, nine, ten. I was right. So he wanted to make me understand that you need to pass the ball. But at the same time, like he knew I could take people on, and one day I nearly scored. <laughs> I swear, one day I nearly scored and I missed. I'm, I'm still thinking about it. I'm still mad about it. But that was my thing. I used to like a challenge. 
And if you remember the game, I was playing as a lone striker. We were playing uh, four, five, one. And you have to help your team when your team cannot help you. Because as you said, we were playing against Real Madrid. And so I knew I was going to have less help that I used to have. And so any chance to chance, they let me control the ball and turn. My thing is, you let me see the net. If you let me see the net, then it's a wrap. I'm not saying I'm going to score all the time, understand me well, but if you let me see the net, then then I can see the pack to go to the net. It's uh, as simple as that. But that goal, that goal was unbelievable, eh? to be honest. Wow. Well, it was a long time ago, man. If I try to do that, I'll pull my hamstring going up the stairs of the stadium. Forget about it. Hey, listen, if I ask you a top... No, if you do a five-a-side, five-a-side, who would you have in your team? The complete team? No, no, no. Five-a-side. Okay, five. Pirlo, for sure. Wow. Pirlo, I can't... That's important. Yeah, you have to play with Pirlo. You know, Pirlo guarantee you ten goals a year, no? So that's okay. <laughs> Pirlo. Uh, but wait, players now or in the history? Whatever you want. Wow. It's only five. Yeah. Why? Wow. If you want to make a starting eleven, okay, goalkeeper. It's hard, huh? Yes, it's hard. Yeah, you played with a for, lot of for, um, for my so for what I experienced, I'm not obviously saying who is the best in the world. I'm just saying for my experience. No, for what you like also. I put Julius Caesar. Okay, Julius Caesar. For, for, those, for those years in Inter, he was for me the best. Okay, so, right back. Right back. Whew. I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> right back. Michael. Michael. Left back. Ben. Left back, Maxwell. Ooh. Maxwell, Maxwell is clean. Maxwell, uh, Max. his technique is clean. unbelievable. Wow. Center backs. Center backs. What are we playing? 4-4-2? Four, four, Up to you, 4-4-2, four, 4-1, four, two, four, two, 3. Uh, however, this is your tactic. Your, you choose. Uh, I told you, I'm not good in tactic. Huh? Wait. Okay, so two center back. <laughs> Let's go. Four. Two center back. Center back. Okay. Uh, I put uh, Cannavaro. And, Ooh, okay. Uh, Nesta. Cannavaro and Nesta. That's not bad. Okay. Um, so what do we play? 4-4-2? Four, 4-4-2. Four, two? Four, four, two. Okay. All the midfielders. Okay. Pirlo. Pirlo. Uh, in front of the defense. Okay. Then I put... Oh, that one. That's not... That so you're going to play... You gonna, so you're going to play in the diamond? Yeah, diamond for sure. Okay, let's go. Um, Pirlo. I'm thinking Yaya Toure. Where Yaya? Yeah, yeah. On the left of the diamond or the right? Same. All left or right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Pirlo, <laughs> Yaya. Yeah, yeah. Yaya yeah, yeah. can, yeah, yeah, can do all, so there's no problem. I put so, Yaya. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And... Uh, Gerard, so Yaya on the right and Gerard on the left, or Gerard on the right. Oh, vice versa, yeah. On the left. And who at the top of the diamond? Cassano. Oh, yes, I forgot about Antonio. Woo! Antonio is unbelievable. Ah, uh, Antonio. The other, day, the other day, I was with Olivier Dacour. Yeah. And I asked him about Antonio Cassano when, when, when Olivier was playing in Rome. 
I thought that player was just was outstanding. I always liked it. He could, he, 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 the way he was giving you the ball is just unbelievable. He, he knew how to give you the ball. He knew where he was and he knew where you were going to be. So, it was another, a, another level. It was amazing. And uh, up front? Up front. Uh, Ronaldo, the Brazilian, for sure. The, the original. <laughs> the original. And uh, Messi. Ooh. That's that's little. There's a there's a good team, I think. Oh, that's little. Yeah, you're right. You're right. That's a good team. I can never listen. Whenever people ask me, I can never do it. The team. But to be honest, I left so many people that I could put in the team. I, I, I can never even, do it. Even, even yourself, I left you. No, left. man, come on. It's, even, it's, even I'm just saying it's just... Me, I used to love the way you play, so everybody fucking out. You, you was unbelievable when you play. You was a phenomenal. I left you. I left uh, Cristiano Ronaldo. I left uh, people like, I don't know, Maldini, Van Basten, Maradona. So, of course... Too it's, much. It's impossible it's a, to make a team properly. What's... You know? what's what is for you a complete striker? I mean, what what is essential for a striker to have, like to be able to perform? What uh, do you like in a striker, basically? I like uh, speed. Mm, okay. I like uh, how do you say rap rapidity, no? Quickness. Yeah, quick quickness. Yes. And uh, I like technique. I love technique. So a striker has to have technique and quickness. But especially, he has to have, I think, and this is, is, this is something that is not easy to learn, is quickness of the thing. So you have to the think mind. quick, yes. And that's something that you have or probably you don't have. You know, you can maybe improve, but you can learn. That's what I think. You know, there are some players they think, and there are some players that are like Papa, and they know what to do. Is listen, I played, I played with a guy that wasn't quick, didn't have quick fit, but he, he had a quick mind. Who's this? Uh, David Trezeguet. He wasn't David, quick. No, ah, David Trezeguet was, wasn't quick. The way he finished, you have to be. Yeah, no, but I'm saying he didn't have quick fit, meaning. Oh yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, he wasn't. He didn't have quick fit. But he was so quick here, which is the most important thing in the game. You need to think. Because at the end of the day, like I always say, you touch the ball, if you accumulate the time of you touch the ball, you touch the ball maybe a minute, a minute and a half. So the rest of the time, what you do in the game, you think. That's all you do. You think. You don't, you don't touch the ball a lot in the game. No. How do you ever? Absolutely. Especially us, strikers. We don't touch it a lot. Yeah. So you need to think. David was just so ahead of all the strikers that I've seen in terms of quickness. But for me, the most important thing for a striker, for me, that's only me talking. You need to be able to score alone, give assist, and come and play in the field. Those are the type of strikers I like. There are not a lot of the. That's what I said to you because when your team cannot feed you, when your team cannot give you the ball, what do you do? Can you come in midfield, take the ball, go on the ball, dribble past people and cross? Can you feed people? Can you give a goal? Not, not, not the typical. Can you come in midfield and make your team play? Me, yes. No, not you. I'm saying. <laughs> the top. No. no, no, I know you do. But you know, no, me. Yes. But you know why? Because like. when I don't, when I don't touch the ball, I go back. That's how yeah. I play. That, that's I what I'm saying. I can't but play 15 minutes without touching the ball, I go crazy. Yeah, I know. I'm just saying, but you need to be efficient with it when you go in the yeah, midfield. I'm not saying you're not. Eh? I'm not saying you're not. I'm saying those are the type of strikers that I like to watch. Yeah. No, no, no. It's true because. Many times I went back to receive the ball and make, try to play 
but I realized that many times I came back, but I wasn't efficient. So I just do the thing that somebody else could do there, you know. Exactly. It's not, it's not easy to go back and be efficient for the strike. Exactly, that's not easy. For me, if you come and get the ball in midfield, you need to make something happen. Because if you come in midfield, you touch it five times and you uh, and you put it on the side, you know, let the midfielder do that. Exactly. Yeah, it's not easy. Who who the striker that you think can do that? Now. Yeah. Now it now it's different. You know why, Mario? Because we 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 live in a in an era where the striker you have you have the wingers. Sometimes, sometimes some team that score more goals than the number nine. Yeah, I think one player that could do that amazingly, Ronaldinho. Oh, you, you mean back? Like, okay, okay, yeah. No, they could come back and make something that others couldn't play, couldn't do. You know, like Ronaldinho used to go. Okay, he's not a hundred percent striker, but even when he was playing up front, when he could come back, he was different from the others. He could create something different. I mean, I said it I said it so many times. I think Mbappe has the quality to do that. Uh, Mbappe? As a, yeah, Mbappe. He has the quality to play as a number nine and do that. Yeah. The best that I've seen, two, I said it the other day uh, when I was talking with Romero Lukaku. Hazard? Uh, Hazard also. For me, George Weah. George Weah, I, I didn't see him a lot. Ooh. I saw him, of course, but I don't remember him a lot. George Weah, sure. and uh, obviously, like I like to call him, the original Ronaldo. Those two guys <laughs> Ronaldo take is the ball from anywhere and go to goal. Whether you're in front of them or not, it didn't matter. Power, speed, finishing. What about Maradona then? Ooh, no, that's a different story. <laughs> because we're talking about strikers. Maradona, for me, it, it, it's simple. You know, when you grow up with a player, it's always different. When you grow up as a kid, looking at the player, it's always different. So, the my first walker as a kid was 86. Hey, so, who, therefore, who was you looking? Oh, Maradona won that alone. You don't yeah. remember the World Cup in '86 in Mexico? So for me, no, I remember, but I, 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 I wasn't born. I remember. No, no, I know. I just, again, yeah, I'm just saying to you that Maradona is always going to be special for me because I grew up watching him, and my first World Cup that I remember well was '86. Yeah. So Maradona is always going to be special for me. Yeah, no, it was unbelievable. Oh, it was great. But to be honest. Okay, now uh, I don't want to take credit from him because for, even for me, he's the best player that ever existed. But that team was good. That no, 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 no. When I say they were good it's players, a, it's, you know? of course the team was good, but but what he done with time, the, uh, England? What he done with England? That game, <laughs> he played alone. He played alone. No, but the team was very good. You know, when I said that, it's a sort of speech when you say he won it alone. Yeah. But yeah. What I meant is. Every time there was something to be done or the difference to be made, he made it. True. Even the semi final, so, nobody speaks about the semi final of this. I think he played with Belgium and he scored twice. And he scored that, two unbelievable goals. That unbelievable was a goal. very difficult game. And he scored one very good goal against Belgium. Which one? The one that he, he dribbled. Ah, but it's not easy. It's not easy at all. <laughs> not at all. Listen, since since it was one of the first guys that I've seen me seen, not not uh, you know I'm talking live, not say <coughs> the way he keep the ball so close to his feet. And the second guy that I've seen doing that like that is Leo Leo Messi. The ball is always that's why he always passes people because he can always push it away from you. Always. Uh, uh, let me tell you something. Me, I try to press. Cristiano Ronaldo, and I try to press Messi. And I have to be honest, when I run behind Messi, I stopped. It's too fast. And I'm fast, but it's too fast. Like when you run with the ball, 
I, I can't see him get like I, w I wasn't catching him. He was getting far, you know. I was like, okay, I stop, you know. He, he runs, he runs, he runs. And then the problem is that if you catch him, he stop and you just go. <laughs> no, but we're talking about this guy is not normal. I mean, I played with him and what he does is not, it's just not, not normal. It's just not normal. Ah, Messi is unbelievable. I, I love to see Messi play. And you know, most of the times you see him going maybe in the middle of the pitch and just play one touch. If they give him the ball, he play there, it goes low. Then he receives, pam! It's, it's unbelievable. You don't, you can't, you can't, you can't mark him. It's impossible. You Listen, I have, I have one for you. One of the guys. I'm gonna give you something to watch. So if you go on YouTube and you put the ultimate passing compilation of one my one of my favorite players ever, Michael Loud. Michael? Michael Loudrup. Loudrup. Yes, sir. Go on YouTube, watch the ultimate passing compilation. It's oh. an hour and 20 something minutes. And then tell me after if you wouldn't have liked to be at the end of its passes. I've never seen a guy passing the ball like him before. I will say. I don't know him. Watch it. I have to watch. I think, I think it's a shame that people forgot about this guy, about Michael Lockett. He was, for me, the complete 10 slash 8, you know, because he used to play in a lot of positions. But uh, he was the or original fake number 9 with the dream team of Barcelona. Better than, than Iniesta? Well, you know, he's uh, Iniesta's favorite player. Lagro. <laughs> I didn't know, obviously. Yeah, he, listen, you have to watch him. I, I, I get annoyed if people don't mention him. For me, he was one of, if not, I'm talking about the number 10 that plays for others, not the number 10 that plays for others. He was one of the best passers I've seen in the game, hands down. Ah. Watch it. Watch. I, I, I will watch it for sure. Please be patient. It's kind of long, but watch all his passes, and it's just not normal. What he does. I will watch it. Me, from my experience, I can say Totti, Cassano. Oh, yes. Yeah. I don't know others. Like, yeah, I know. I don't know. Snyder also is a good passer. Ooh. Oh yeah, especially especially when you guys uh, had that run, amazing run. That was amazing. Well done. Which one? Oh, with Inter. Oh wow, that was unbelievable year. And then with Wesley, I played also in uh, in Nice with Wesley. Oh yeah, true. He came to Nice one year. He didn't oh yeah, play, he didn't play a lot. But he made the one assist to me with the in Europa League, in Champ no Europa League with Lazio. But Wesley is a different level. It was good. Oh, he played. He, he came to Nice, and uh, yeah, I, no, I, no, I, but I, I forgot. The president he called me and said, you know, you're gonna be happy tomorrow in the pitch. Is gonna be in training. It's gonna be an old friend of yours. And me, I was like, oh, who? And then I was all happy, and I went to the to the training ground. And then he said, Wesley, I said, oh. <laughs> You you are you are in the wrong address or what? What, what are you doing here? <laughs> I didn't. No, no, it's, uh, it was a special special talent. Listen, Mario, I'm not going to take too much of the time. Although we have time, right? But uh, I need to go and speak with friends. So always a pleasure to speak to you. Pleasure to me. Be Yo, safe. You, you need to ask. You need to ask Prince, who's the best player he played with? Because of course he's gonna say me. <laughs> <laughs> but then, uh, listen, me and Prince, we were so good when we played together, I swear. Because we yeah, I will, I will, don't worry, I will, uh, I will, I will ask, you. but uh, be safe, man. Very you'll important. Be safe, you'll be safe too, and your family, oh, and everything. Yeah, you too. You too. Very important. And don't ever forget, I'm leading. Oh my God, really? But we, we, didn't, we didn't meet afterwards. That's the problem. It we doesn't matter. Once. It doesn't matter. What is done is done. But 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 now you need to explain how it, you do, you did it because really, if you say it like this, it looks like we do one against one and you do the mech to me. 
No, no, you, you started the make. You were, you were so to make. far. You were so far. <laughs> ah, I know. I know, but hey, I'm sorry. I'm still leading. <laughs> Mario, listen. Have a good one. Be safe. See you yeah. soon, yeah? You have a good evening. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, you too. Bye-bye. 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 Allez, on va chercher. Kevin, tu es aimé? Amé. What is for you? What's for you are you there wait ah yes yes is Yo. Ah. <laughs> ah. what's up you okay yeah well, you speak too much my friend no I it's watched, mario i watched you, you everything never, you never fall asleep i watched everything no it was it was like some good stuff man Listen, first and foremost, how are you? That's the most important thing. You okay? I'm good. Yeah, yeah I'm good. We're no, but that's very important, you know? What do you yeah, say? Yeah, I know, I know. We're trying to do the best, you know? You're home 24 hours, but uh, I'm good, I'm good. How are you? All good? I'm good, I'm good. How is your family also? Family yeah, good? good? Good, Yeah, they already no, knocked on the door. He said, Papa, you're coming back. I said, no, no, I have to work. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know, I know the feeling. I'm alone, I'm alone actually, in Montreal. Well, so. in Montreal you are. Yeah, because you know I'm coaching here, and yeah, I know, I know. When I everything happened, came back to to go home or something. But that's your no, name. because I didn't want to get stuck in England just in case they were closing the borders. And then they were yeah. closing the borders, but then I had to stay here because let's say the league starts again and, and the coach is not here, of and course. then I, if I come back, you have to go in quarantine for two weeks. So I'm like, I might as well stay here. You never know what can happen. Of course, of course, of course. It's you know, how do you, how do you uh, occupy yourself? do whatever you do you train a little bit and I do stupid stuff I joke around you know I try there are some days where I go crazy where I don't want to talk to no one is I think I think everybody the same like there are days yeah. where you're like positive and there are other days like when it's gonna stop it's not do easy you, it's like, like I said like I said to uh, like I said to Mario do you um, are you trying to learn something new you know for example he said he, he didn't like to cook or whatever, do you try to cook or read or, or learn a new language? I know you're speaking a lot of different languages. Okay. I know that for a fact. But it's always good sometimes also to have a bit of time for yourself. Not too much. Of course. No, Not no, too of much. Course. But I, think, I think of every negative, there's something positive. You have a lot of time to think about important stuff. Uh, I know how to cook already, so I'm lucky. Ah, that's good. Yeah, but I'm happy even. I have, like, uh, I have a bit of luxury that everybody can cook in the house. So they all cook, <laughs> so I don't have to cook. Uh, I'm learning Turkish. I used to speak very good. Really? Yeah, I used to speak already very good because I grew up with a lot of Turks, but uh, I need to bring it back, so I'm, I'm learning the language. Um, yeah, that's it, man. I'm writing music. I love music. Really? Yeah. What type? Uh, soul, R&B, hip-hop. Uh, I do everything. I'm, I'm nah. writing. Yeah. I remember when you won the title in Italy. I mean, everyone does remember <laughs> what you did. That was amazing, man. I was like, because someone sent me the video, right? And I was like, you know, what, what? And then I was like, wow. It was a funny story, man, because like two months before we won the league, yeah, I, I had an interview with Gazzetta dello Sport, you know, the, yeah, 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 the, yeah. Bi the Bible of football. It's called the Bible of football. So they, they asked Thiago Silva, the defender, you remember, they ask him, like, who's the funniest guy in the dressing room? And he's like Prince Boateng because he always sing and dance. So in my interview, they ask, like, ah, oh, you always dance the moonwalk. If you win the league, would you do the moonwalk? I say, yeah, of course. You know, it's like two months. You never know yeah, you're going to win the league. So the day comes, we win the moonwalk. We do the celebration. So the marketing uh, boss comes to me and says, look at the program. And I say on the top, I say, Prince Boateng, moonwalk, five minutes. Five minutes? And I was like, what? And I was like, what do you mean five minutes? He said, yeah, yeah, we build the stage. You get the jacket, you get the glove. I said, are you crazy? Because in my mind, it was just, I'm going to go in front of you. Yeah, the you're going to moonwalk. moonwalk on the field. That's it. 
So he's like, no, 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 we're going to make it big. I say, you are crazy. And I was lucky I didn't play because I was suspended. So I had 90 minutes to think about oh, how to perform. So you were fresh. Yeah, but it was still like 90 minutes in this when you have a pressure is nothing. <laughs> so no, I, 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 I had like 90 minutes to prepare and then this funny thing came out. Yeah, it was fun. Listen, I, I always, whenever I see you play, uh, you always, you know, well, you, have, you have your character, right? I can see, you know, but you like to play with a smile. You always look happy. But for some reason, I'm not having a go at all the club that you played for, but <laughs> when you were in Spain, no, but when you were in Spain, I saw you really happy. Yeah. Really? You know, I don't know why. I, I, maybe I'm mistaken. You know, when you went, when you went uh, if I'm not mistaken, Las Palmas, right? Las Palmas. When you went there, I saw you really, really happy. Like you were really happy then. You know why? I tell you honestly, because I was in a point in my career where my character or my, my body, like it was all in a point where it was all in question. You know, everybody questioned me. They were like, ah, is he still good enough? Is he crazy? Because we hear a lot of stories. We see a lot of things, you know? Yeah. So I came there without like, you know, without a target. I just said like, I want to play football, man. Just want to enjoy the game again. Because you know, as older you get, football becomes work. Yeah. We lose the love a little bit, you know? So I came there. The money wasn't great. I never heard about the place before, to be honest. My, my agent called me and said, we have Las Palmas. And I said, where is Las Palmas? In Gran Canaria. I said, wow. I said, I go to holidays or I play football? So I just came there and I said, this, I'm going to show everybody who I am. Like, come on, you know? No, so but that was good. That was good because I, for some reason I saw a change. Not, 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 I'm not saying that I don't, you know, me, same thing. People used to kill me because I was moody or, or whatever. I didn't, I didn't care about it. But I saw a change and I was like, oh, he looks happy there. He looks yeah. really happy. What about, uh, what about Barca? Oh, amazing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, amazing. Yeah, what do you have to say? You know, you've been there, you know how it is, man. It's like to come in my, in my age, I was 32, you know, coming to this big stage one more time again, just to be there was like pff, crazy. You know, when you realize when, you, when I signed, they gave me the key of the car straight on the key was written my name, Prince. I didn't have that for like a long time. Then you do taking the pictures, press conference. I was like, okay, I'm back on the big stage now. Yeah. For, for, oh, for sure. personal, it was unbelievable. Football-wise, it was really difficult because you have this one. Yeah, man. Product, hey, you know? listen. You, listen. <laughs> it's a special <laughs> play. You know when you enter the stadium and you have Meske on club? Yeah. I always remember when I first arrived there, I was like, okay, Meske on club. Like, you know, I was like, yeah, and, and then once you're inside yeah. and you start to understand what this club is all about, exactly. it's, it's crazy. Don't exactly. get me wrong. Eh? You know, no, I'm an Arsenal fan. I know, you know I'm an Arsenal fan. But you have to respect the club like Arsenal. It's, it's outstanding. Big, big level. I, 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 re I remember, like, even me, I didn't play a lot, you know. I walked on the street and people went nuts. They're like, this is a Barcelona play, you know? And still today, people still say, like, he played in Barcelona. And I take that. No one can take that from me. I don't care if I play only oh, four man. games. Four games, five games? I don't care, bro. I played starting 11 in Camp Nou. I don't care. It's really <laughs> my agenda. Like, I'm there. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Hey, I hear that you're a uh, sneakerhead. Yeah. Man. You like your sneakers? Yeah, too much, man. I mean, it's too much. No, it's too much. And the problem is I have different houses everywhere. Like, I, so live in Milano. Everywhere. I live in Milano. My base is Milano. I have my house in Berlin. I have a house now in Florence because I used to play there. Now I'm on loan in Besiktas. So I have, yeah. shoes, I have shoes everywhere. I'm the same. And what do you have on now? Now, look. Slippers. <laughs> I'm here. Support Puma. Ah, yes. Oh, they're nice. I saw them. Just a shout out to Puma. I want them as well. Come on. Ellie Hansen. Yes, sir, man. I'm, I'm bad. I'm really you, bad. You it, have... Guys, Puma, please. He's an ex-player. He's not playing anymore. Send me the shoes. <laughs> <laughs> but wait. Actually, I'm on the bench now as a coach. 
I can actually wear them. True. I, you see, you see where I go. You see how fast. Yeah, you see, yeah, yeah. You already. You see how quick I am. I will be there. I will be there. Don't worry. <laughs> you see how quick I am. Listen. So, Mario told me that if I ask you, <laughs> I who is the, the best player that you played with, he said you're gonna say him. But okay. really, is it him? The biggest potential I've ever seen is him. Okay. And the best player you played with? You know, people are going to kill me all the time for this. But to be honest, it was... There are three. But it's even depending on position. It's always hard. You know how it is. You play with a lot of amazing players. The best, the best I played with is Messi. Okay? Because it's different. You see him against you. And then you see him in training what, he's, what he can do. You know? I know. There's another one is Ibrahimovic. He's like on the level, you know, because he, he's the same. He can play alone. Then, then you have, like Mario said, the Pirlo. Come on, you cannot. You know, that's why I play. I changed so many people. I played with so many players. It's so difficult. But if yeah. you say one who, gonna, who can every game make you win a game, and I played with him, is Messi. Yeah, I mean, I, it's, a, it's, it's also a tough one for me. Okay, I give you the difference. So, for me, Messi is, for me, I always joke about that, yeah. obviously. But Messi is not human, for me. I always said, I've seen yeah, him doing stuff that are not physically possible. <laughs> Just, like one day he scored a goal. And I paused and I went, it was a goal against Malaga, I think we won 6-1 at home. I always talked about that goal. He goes inside. And on the same step before he puts his leg down. You will understand that. So, full speed. Okay, full speed. And he stops on his left foot here. So, normally, you're like this. You have to put your foot back down on the ground. If not, you're going to fall. But when he did this, he touched it again in the air. Oh, yeah. I, I was like, if I do that, I'll, 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 you <laughs> yeah, know, I'll do my crucial ligament. And he does but it with one leg. That, that's what I'm saying. He went... He went yeah, let, but let, he, his right foot, he never used it. You know, can you imagine? No, if, that's what I'm saying. If you would have two legs, come on. <laughs> He's a one-legged yeah, player. Also, you know, left-footed players are always more beautiful to watch. Yeah, always. Why? You because... See, I know that. It's so no, but why? Because if the ball goes on your left foot, you pass the ball with your left foot. Yeah. So, they, they, the repetition of touching the ball and doing exercises yeah. only with one foot makes it Go further. We yeah. all come from my left. I play my left. Exactly. They, they go like they go like this. They go like this. They <laughs> to, to pass it like this. So it looks beautiful. Exactly. Obviously, you pass it straight. Your body stays straight. You pass it with your left foot. Doesn't look as nice. I always wanted they, to be a left foot. Always. It looks beautiful. They look the nice. Best. Like look all the left footers. You all. If you remember Recoba, bro. You remember how you used to strike that ball? It looks when I strike it like this, that look it's the same goal, but it doesn't look the same. No, uh, it just Roberto looks like I, I put so much effort in it, you know, and he's just boom. It just what about like Roberto it. Carlos? Oh my god, just leave it. How do uh, control the ball? <laughs> uh, Rivaldo, uh, he was one of my favorite players when I grew up. I've never seen uh, you remember when he used to, to, to shoot, his two legs used to it's, go in the air. Yeah, how? <laughs> and I was like. He used to strike the ball and it's too... Yeah. And I'm like, no, it's, what? It's, what are you... No, listen, I've seen so, so many... So, yeah, so Leo players, is, So many great guys, so many, so many... It's just crazy. I just wanted to, to ask you that because to go back to the question I asked you for me is very important because I saw you really, 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 really happy there. Uh, it's funny, it's funny, actually. I'm talking about, obviously, so you're happy in uh, Las Palmas. Uh, and obviously in Barcelona for the reason that we know. But how was uh, Frank Ribery in Fiorentina? Oh, what a guy. He can you play. Know? Yeah, what a player. Oh, my God. You know, there's, that's why I say there are so many players. Frank is good. Frank. Frank, ooh, Frank is another one. If he has a good day, he plays alone. You know, and he's so strong. You don't know that. To get the ball from him, he has all his strength on his leg. You cannot, he's, he looks small, whatever. He's so strong. And I play against him since 10 years. Like when I was oh, yeah, in Hertha, true. yeah, and I always played against him with Schalke, with Frankfurt, with Hertha, with Dortmund, you know? And we always had, 
we were never friends before. We knew each other, what's up, what's up. A lot of respect. And now then when he came, and I always knew how he is because even my brother in Bayern, he always told me like, he's such a good guy, he's fun, he always laughs, he makes jokes. So when he came now to, to Florence, we were in the hotel, in the same hotel, so we were 24 hours together. And you can yeah. just imagine how much we were laughing. And on the field, he's just a leader, even when not talking, you know. Listen, he, he, he's the type of guy that first and foremost will, make, will put a good atmosphere in the dressing room. Yeah. He's a winner. That's a... He's a winner. That's very important. He will do whatever for you and the team to win. And he likes to share. That's the thing I like the most with him. Biggest heart ever. Biggest heart I've seen in football. Biggest heart. He likes, he likes to share. And that's contagious. Yeah. You know, he's, uh, apart from obviously being a great player. And as you said, you know, when he, when he waits for you to come and he puts his leg. <laughs> oh, oh, and you think the, that you're going to move him? <laughs> get in the gym right now. I always say that. You're he not moving him. He's like, boop. So You're not moving him. It's, it's, uh -huh. it's, uh, it's impossible. Listen, why the change, by the way? Why the change? Why did, you, why did you come to us with Puma? No, because, first of all, there's a good story behind Because Puma wanted me already 2010 at the World Cup in South Africa. They were pressuring okay. very... Yeah, because we were sponsored. Ghana was sponsored with Puma. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah so that. they were pressuring, but I still had a contract with this other brand I don't want to say because otherwise they're going to kill me. <laughs> uh, uh, so I was like, when I was a kid, young, it was always Nike, 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 you know? Even, even you, like, I, listen how I remember you. <laughs> Why? Like, bro, you have no idea what an inspiration you were for my family. Like my older brother, my younger brother, all my friends, you have no idea. I wow. never told you because we never had the chance to talk. Wow. Yeah. You made something. You you brought something out in football. You maybe you don't even know, but maybe you know. The socks over the knees. Okay, that's something. And the mercurial vapor. I know Puma is going to hate me now, but that's history, guys. You, that's a legend. And it, it it could be even even the Essex. You had Essex, right? You, you, I think, you no, 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 the name. right? There. You even made Reebok look unbelievable <laughs> because this, I swear, but, you know, let me let me tell you something. When I arrived in England and I had my socks over my knee, over my knees, whatever, I used to get hammered, uh, of course, because he looked, you. I was, they used to call me a ballet dancer. <laughs> look at him, he thinks he's gonna dance. And I used to have, in England, you know how it is, oh. I used to have gloves with short sleeves. Yeah. So they were like, what is it? What? And I wasn't scoring goals, by the way. I just first oh, yeah. arrived. <laughs> they were like, what is this guy? And then suddenly, guys? like I said, I'm a bit stubborn like that. I was like, no, I always put my, my socks over my knees. That's not going to change the way I play or what people think. So I, I kept it, yeah. you know? And I didn't even think you about it. the story part, of football. I tell you, you made with this, with this style, you made the story of football. You, you, maybe you don't realize, my son, he's six years old. My other son, who's going to be 12, that's what they do. Because they see it from me. They see it, but this, you were the first, you know? You were the first. Well, you put the socks technically, I, I'll tell you. The first one, because I, I took it from someone. Okay. Sonny Anderson ah, okay. Was, okay. was the player when he arrived playing from, from Servette de Genève to Marseille, yeah. first game on TV, he had these socks over his knee. I was like, what, I was, what is he doing? Yeah. And then he came to Monaco. So I was playing as a youngster in Monaco. So, so I kept the style yeah, but and I couldn't maybe change because it. Because he was not so big like you, you know? Because yeah, you... no, I know what you mean, but it's, it's I still, you know, I'm, I'm, it's still him, the first yeah, I saw. Yeah, of course. And then maybe, because as you know, when you play in the Premier League, it, it, when you play in the Premier League, it goes places. You yeah, know, you, yeah, you, you yeah. when course. you play in the Premier League, it's, it's the Premier League. That's, that's what I mean. That was, that was the moment what I will always remember. And then this was like the time where they wanted me, Puma, already to come back to the discussion. So was it like a year ago or something? They contact me again. We sit down and we had the same language. So it was quick. 
we said, oh, I like this, I like this. Yeah, Puma, yeah, let's work together. And we 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 wanted to work on the racism thing, you know. So we oh yeah, for sure, yeah, we yeah, 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 something something big, not only sports. Yeah. Um, I wanted to ask you something. Uh, I've seen I've seen some funny videos with you and the and the fam, <laughs> with you and the family. No, it's good. You know, I'm I'm not that active on Instagram. You know, but mm. I, I kind of look and you, you guys you guys I have to say you guys are making me laugh. Yeah, we try to have fun, you know, because how I told you, there are moments where you're like, oh my God, it's getting so yeah, yeah. You just try, to, even if I can like have people smile for a minute of the day, I did Yeah, you're right. Know? So we can use this social media, three million, four million people, whatever, to really maybe make a little change, you know, so that's what, that's what I'm trying to do. And we always do things like that anyway, so I don't share it, you know. I have, I have one last one. Maybe it's a touch, touchy subject. And I'm sure you must have said it before so many times. Why Ghana and not Germany? That's a tricky one. <laughs> no, I know man. it's a. I no, know. no, but but it's simple, you know. If you because if you're if you're like me, like you are, we're all mixed race, you know. We're yeah, yeah, sides. And when you're young, you don't really know. Even if I was born in Germany, you don't really know who you are. So that's why a lot of like, we have all some, some, not problems, but we have questions, you know, we always think. Yeah, yeah, you're trying to find yourself out. It's exactly. Normal. So I, I didn't feel German 100% and I didn't feel Ghanaian 100%. So then football, you're mixed anyway, you, you're both. Of course, but I know a lot of mixed race people who were born in Germany, they feel German 100%, you know, they're like German. So others, maybe they feel more Nigerian, Ghanaian, Cameroon, whatever. So I always was in the middle, not knowing 100% what I was. Then football came and opened me the door to play for Germany. And I was proud. And I was like, yes, I will play for Germany. I was proud to hear the national anthem, whatever. So as I got older and I kept my brain the way I was, I always say what I think. And I always want to prove my point, whatever. It was not so welcome. You know, mm. let's, put it, let's put it like that. Because I always said, no, but it's like this. And the coach said, no, it's like this. And the coach, of course, he's right. But I want to pro prove my point. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. So there I, came a point where I thought, okay, maybe I will not make it to the, to, the, to the number one team, you know, to be the national player of Germany. Because it maybe it doesn't have to do any more with qualities. Yeah, because no, I get my, it. My character doesn't fit. So I choose to play for Ghana. And tell you honestly, it was like one of the best decisions I did in my career. Because to go home to see your roots, to see different culture, you know, had the chance to play two World Cups, like it gave me a lot. That's amazing. Yeah. That is amazing. Yesterday I that, saw on Sky, you, France against Italy, was... The 2006? Two, no. 98? No, 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 no. It was European champion, I think. Oh, 2000. The, the, yeah, the final. exactly. What a team, France. Oh, my God. And Italy. Yeah, but your team was, you know, your team was like cheat code on FIFA, bro. <laughs> <laughs> your team was cheat code. You had Duram, you had uh, Laurent Blanc. Ah, uh, everybody, Guerra. everybody, everybody. What, what a team! I saw the game because now they show all the old games. Yeah, no, everybody. Listen, it was, it was, it was great. Yeah, I had the, I had the chance, and obviously worked ever so hard to be able to be part of that team, but. You need to be also lucky to, to be in a good generation, you know? Yeah. It's easy because it's easy if it's not a good generation, it's a tough one. And yeah. we were all good players that arrived together almost in their prime. Yeah. And so the mix, the mix was... Oh, it was... was, was Lisa, just, uh, Lisa Razou. Oh, what a player, Lisa No, I forget about it. Zizou, Lisa Razou, Deschamps, Pat Gera. Uh, yeah, then Vieira was right one after. of Vieira and Arsenal then, was one of my favorite players. Vieira. Oh, listen, Patrick Vieira. I'm going to tell you one thing. Oh. I first and foremost, the amount of time that that player he won't say it, I will say it. <laughs> he couldn't walk. Yeah. No joke. He couldn't walk. I'm looking at his knee. His knee looked like my head, and I have a big head. <laughs> so just imagine now. <laughs> just imagine how his knee must have looked like. 
Yeah. And I'm looking at him and I'm like, you going to play? And he looked at me and like, of course I'm going to play. I'm like, mm. Then the, the ref blow the whistle Beast and he's everywhere. everywhere. And I'm looking at him and I'm like, every single game. And Patrick is the only player that I know that when the game is too easy, he doesn't want to play. Yeah. <laughs> Normally, you know, guys, when the game, you one nil up, 2-0 up, yeah, you start yeah. to show boat, you come to the ball, you, you yeah, give me the you ball. Do, you but do Patrick bit. wanted to play properly when we were losing, battle, yeah. one nil. When the game became too easy, he lost his mind. He, he lost his uh, concentration. He's the only player. I played with a lot of all the midfielders. Yeah. He's the only player that I think that could have played alone in midfield. Yeah, he's a beast. And he could defend attack. and attack. Oh. His, long, his long legs, when he pushed With the ball... With style, you, dribble, you goal, you technique. You couldn't stop it. His long no, legs, Patrick, he just walked on top of you. Patrick was just, for me, you know, we use the word animal a lot. Yeah. He was an animal. animal. Technique, power. You want to fight, he's there. You want to play, he's there. Uh, you know... Yeah. Complete. Whatever you want, he was there. He was listen. He was, he was just, he was just amazing. But we had a, we had a good generation. Listen, oh, we had a good generation. Yeah. We also learned a lot when we went abroad. Yeah. Because that's that's where the mix was good. Because we were all of obviously course. grew up in the French academy. And that's, then everybody left. That has you know, in the team. Exactly. Yeah. The French academy, the way they teach you how to play is one of the best in the world for me. I, I will be biased, but when you look at every year, you always have like four, five, six players that are coming from France and you're like, wow, how? All the time. Crazy. But when we went abroad, that added the, 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 in, in the mix of what we became, that oh, generation. You know and why so, even? Yeah. You, you know why even? I tell you, because there are a lot of like street players. Oh, yeah, no, but that, you know, that goes without saying. Yeah, but that France, they're like street, like the real street players. When I look back in the day, real street, when I played with the national team under 15, under 16 with Germany against France, bro, come on. They were street players. They learned the tactics. They learned a little bit to defend and do all yeah. this. They were street players. And, that's, and yeah. that's where you go abroad, you get the tactics, you get the experience, and you bring that all back to the national team. Look now, look all of them now. Listen, if you... There is something is true. If you're from, especially, you know, I'm going to be biased because I'm from the suburb of Paris. Yeah. And when you look at the players that came out of the suburb of Paris, you will freak out. Yeah. Because in a suburb of Paris, there is that, that it, it's a bit everywhere, don't get me wrong. Yeah, yeah. No, But in the suburb of Paris, you get it a bit extra, the street yeah. game. Of course. With, with being vicious, Being dirty a bit, yeah. technical, you get kicked, you can't talk. Yeah, of course. Yeah, because even you, when you play with 15, I was 15, I played against 38 year old. You know, you already. You can't mentally... talk. Exactly. You, you cry or you talk, you don't play the day after. <laughs> Go home, man. <laughs> you 13, you step on that field, everybody have the same rules. Exactly. You're going to get kicked, you're going to get whatever, and it is where it is. And that, I would say, will form you. This is something that is a bit lost a yeah, bit now. It's I coming always, back with a five aside and I always say that. I and all those tournaments. That. But I'm talking about your neighborhood against my neighborhood. Exactly. Just for a pizza. Or, <laughs> or that's what it was. Or tomorrow you bring the water. That's exactly. all it was. You yeah. tomorrow you bring the water. Bring the water, yeah, yeah. Just to bring the water. Oh no, exactly. no, no. okay. Yeah. So you and give everything. You, you listen, I've I always say I grew up like that. It is what it is. People love when I say that. But if I play against my dad, yeah. if I play a game against my dad, if I have to elbow him in the face, I will elbow him in the face. Of course. Of course. Then I will bring him to the hospital and be sorry. <laughs> But as long as you, you're on the other team. Yeah, of course. And I want to win that pizza. Oh, it's on. Yeah. Same with me yeah. when I played against Jerome, bro. I don't care. They ask me always, like, oh, is it special? Of course, of course it's special. We play on the, yeah, level, on the best level in the world of football. But if I, if I have to, like, tackle him or elbow him, whatever, I will have to do it. He's my opponent. Afterwards, we shake hands, we hug, it's finished. But in the game, he cannot be my brother, you know? <laughs> I 
Of course. It's normal. <laughs> nah, it he, always had the, he was always in the bigger team, so he always won. You know, I was always nah. like, Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. true, true. Yeah, he was with Germany, Bayern Munich all the time, you know? <laughs> no, I know. I he know, came I to me like... after the game, oh, brother, hug me and say, leave me alone, man, go away. <laughs> yeah, of course, you're not supposed to be happy. Yeah, you always we'll win, talk, go away. <laughs> we'll talk later. No, nah, you're right. Listen, I'm going to let you go back to the family. Oh, you see, you man. spoke a lot. No, not so much, bro. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you for that, man. Thank you for the honest answers. I know the one about Ghana wasn't an easy one, but uh, no. thank you for sharing this time with me. Be safe and your family too, man. Thank you. You too, brother. And if you need thank a number you. 10 in Montreal, just give me a call. Hey! Ah, no, I'm joking. <laughs> Don't get me in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> bro, talk to you. See you. Bye, Appreciate bro. it. Bye-bye. Bye, bro.